the other half is well the other well the other quarter is coming to GM and GM and diet. But it's most of the I got a woman on the on the seven, bro. Like this bitch running through my mind with the fucking Mercedes uh, about the shit. Because after I done found out how like does my my contract in like four months and I want to get out. So I can live my fucking life. But before I was asking about the fucking mid board. But then I found out that shit extends you, it, it extends your contract for like, uh, damn, like you, like, ain't no telling when the fuck it's gonna be done, like, so you can fuck around and be, in, and be dealing with this shit for a year and a half, you know, now, it still is, um, how do I say this, it'll be good at the end, your life because they because you, you didn't have to do it yourself right before you get out however nigga that year and a half nigga anything can happen that's why that's why our people be so special man. shit like that man like they try to put us through journeys and missions and shit you know what i mean and we just still come out swinging man Crazy, bro. Enemy is securing Enemy is securing yeah, that shit crazy. A 20-year-old girl. I can't wait to tell my lady about this shit tomorrow. A 20-year-old white girl told white her girl. doctor that she got in. Nigga, I'm, I'm bullshit you not. I asked her because she was cool enough to answer the fucking question. I said, what all are you diagnosed with? The bitch said one thing. Anxiety. She ran out of fucking meter. Just that quick. Street Fighter 6, bro, it, it is not worth all the meter that they be using. Like, they just use all the meter in like five seconds of the demo. Trying to drive a uh, rush. Yeah, yeah. This bitch is gonna get paid for the rest of her life because she has fucking anxiety. Every, damn near every nigga everybody on has earth has anxiety. Yeah. And I have chronic PTSD. I'll be, nigga, I have, I have fucking night terrors. I be sweating and shit. And this bitch come home and start OnlyFans and shit. And this bitch told me to my face that she can't do shit. It's been like that since I got in. It took me six years to get a shaver program. I remember we had a corner store. I don't know if you know my, my wife is on. Uh, so to make a long story short, we um, you know, I was running the store. Or I was running the store or whatever, but, um, you know, you know, but, but where I'm at, you know, the Dominicans took over everything, man, they own everything pretty much, you know, like, they, they got, they got everything, man, you know, so, to make a long story short, oh my god, how the fuck did he get past you, my dude, so to make a long story short, they wouldn't do shit, man, they ain't let me get shit, man, Bread, none of that shit. Security I done had to get hit by trucks, man. You know, stop it. You know, think about it. So it's like, mm -hmm. so I get it, man. You ain't the, you ain't the, the right shade, man. You know they don't fuck with us, man. Alpha secure. Shit is fucked up, man. The shit that we be having, you know, just to try to, you know, just to try to get a little bit. I'm about to sit in the top of the table and I'm following. 
AfricanAncestry.com is black owned. Yeah. They just take the DNA they get from niggas in Africa and then they collect that shit, put it in a database, and then we take swabs. And then DNA is like DNA is it's black and white. And if it don't match, it don't match. So it just pings to whatever code you know what I'm saying it matches with, and that's that's basically what how how to put find out who that is, you know. So you and, or like who your relative is and that's who you relate to. Directly. So, okay. It's not gonna tell you like where they started at, but as far as location, it's not gonna tell you like where they started, but it's gonna tell you where they're at today. Tribes and they're both from uh, Gabon, which is actually which is on the coast of Africa, obviously, but it's actually in Central Africa. It's kind of funny though, because um, I had to double check with uh, my uncle because he's like our griot for our family, pretty much like our family historian, and the shit checks out. Yeah, hey, you know, people think about West Atlanta slave trade. West Atlanta slave trade. They like to think, they like to only think about like the Dutch or the English. Or the my ancestors and uh, French. And during that time, um, even today, uh, during that time, uh, Central Africa was being colonized by the French. That's why. The majority of Central Africa today speaks French. And the niggas coming over here up through the channel uh, to Louisiana. Because Louisiana used to be owned by the French and half of Mississippi was owned by the French. So my people were actually brought from Louisiana and sold in Greenville, Mississippi which is the city that I was born in. The city I was born in was actually originally a slave auction city. Well, it was not originally, like, it was known for being a slave auction city. And I was born there. And then the two towns that I named earlier, Benoit and Bouvier, um, in the backside of Bouvier resides the area where the Utah plantation was at and that's where my uh, that's where my uh, grandparents and my grandparents were born and my and then when slavery was over they just, all the black people just stayed there and built homes like little shacks and shit right and then eventually my father was born there, and then raised there with his siblings yeah, and in Greenville, ain't but like maybe 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes away from fucking uh, Benoit in Bouvier. Right, so he met my mother 
in fucking Greenville. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you, already out of high school, but yeah, they do, they met. Or wherever fucking Mississippi that they was probably partying in. Just A lot of crazy shit in fucking history, bro. I was I asked my pops about his childhood one time. You know what this nigga told me? The nigga said, um this, this type of shit is the reason why I feel the way I do about Well, not not feel the way I do, but why I have such a caution when it comes to white folk. Because obviously, like, I have so many examples, but here's another example. Um when it, when him and my uncle Cat 